I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to estimate the exponents of a number. In general, we can write exponential form as like this b to the power of n, where b will be called as the base. This will be called as a base. And here this number will be treated as an exponent. Now n could be a natural number. So we'll see n as a natural number. We'll also treat n as an integer. We'll take this n as a rational number. Right, so we'll do all these operations with the terms. So we'll find exponents with all these types of exponents. And we'll estimate without using a calculator. Okay. Now when I say minus 3 square, it really means what? Minus 3 square means we are going to multiply minus 3 by itself twice. Now when you do so, minus minus becomes positive and 3 times 3 becomes 9. So you get positive 9. In the second case, when I say minus 3 squared, this minus is not squared. So in this case, we get minus, which is not squared. However, 3 is multiplied by itself and we get minus 9 as a result. Now that is a very important conclusion. So I hope that clears confusion for many students. As far as 0 is concerned, 0 is always treated as positive. So even if I write negative 0, it just means 0. And 0 to the power of anything will only be 0. Minus 1 cube. Now 1 cube is 1, but negative odd number when cube will result into minus 1. So I hope that helps you to understand how we get all these results, right? Now here is a test question for you. Minus 1 cube is equal to what, right? Let's move on to this side. Anything to the power of 0 is always 1. Anything to the power of 1 is the number itself. So it is minus 8, right? So let me generalize this for you. So if I have b to the power of n, where b is 1, in that case, 1 to the power of n will be equal to 1 only, right? If I have b to the power of 0, it will be equal to 1. And if I have b to the power of 1, it will always be equal to b, right? So these are important things to remember. Now let's move forward. Here we have half, 4 to the power of half. Half means square root. So treat half as 4 square root, second root, right? Square root of 4 is 2. Now, in this case, we have minus 8 to the power of 2 over 3. There's a combination. Now, in such cases, we could find the cube root and then square. So that will be treated as cube root of minus 8. And then we are going to square it. So that is the meaning of 2 over 3, right? We'll take such examples later to practice. But here I'm just giving you an idea. So cube root of minus 8 is minus 2. So we get minus 2. And when you square it, square is always positive. We get 4 as our result, right? So I hope that is clear. Now let's move on. We have many examples in this case. Now let's practice. Now in this case, we have all the 
rational exponents, right? So we have now rational exponents to practice. Half means to the power of 1 over 2 means square root, correct? So this basically means square root of 4, which we did earlier, which is 2. Now here we have to find the cube root of minus 8. Cube root of minus 8 is minus 2. Fifth root of 32. You could also do like this. 32 could be written as 2 to the power of 5. And then fifth root. That means we have 2 to the power of 1 and we get 2 as our answer. You could do like this. 27 cube root means cube root of 27 can be written as 3 times 3 times 3. And that gives you 3 as your result. Correct? So different ways we are looking into the same thing so that you get an idea of how to find these answers. Now, what I've done here is shown you how to calculate the results. So we have 4 to the power of 3 over 2. Earlier, we calculated 4 to the power of 1 over 2. So that means what we should do. We'll do square root 2 first, I mean square root of 4 first, and then we'll cube it. We did square root in the example, it is 2. So we get 2 cube, 2 cube is 8, 2 times 2 times 2, correct? Similarly, now you can actually pause the video and answer these questions. You need to solve, and already we have done half of the question. Minus 8 to the power of 1 over 3 has been done for you. 32 to the power of 1 over 5 has been done. 27 to the power of 1 over 3 is 3. From there, you can now write down your answer, right? So you could also write this as minus 8 to the power of 1 over 3 whole square. Correct? Minus 8 to the power of 1 over 3 is minus 2. And square of minus 2 is plus 4. Similarly, 32. So 32 to the power of 1 over 5 and everything Q. 32 to the power of 1 over 5 is 2 as we just calculated. And now we can cube this to get the answer as 8. 27 to the power of 2 over 3 really means 27 cube root. You could write in any way and then square it. 27 cube root is 3, so 3 squared is 9 as our answer. So I hope this strategy is clear and that is how we can move forward. So rational exponents at times is tricky. So I thought I'll break it up so that it becomes easier for you to understand. So I hope that is clear. Let's move on and take some numbers with decimal numbers. Now decimal numbers are very tricky. Before getting into these examples, let's try to understand what happens when I multiply 0 0.1 with 0 0.1. 1 times 1 is 1. However, I need two decimal places. So, so the result is 0 0.01. Do you see that? So, on the other hand, you could also think like this, that square root of 0 0.01 is 0 0.1. Does it make sense to you? Right? So this is key strategy in solving these types of questions. So again, the format is similar. Once you calculate the left side, you can use that result to calculate the right side. Perfect? I'd like you to pause the video, answer these questions, and then check with my solution. Now, when I am saying 0 0.04 square root, what I really should get is 0 0.2. You can figure out applying this strategy. So this is key strategy to solve roots for decimal numbers. 
here this we have already done it is 0 0.1 one cube root of 1000 is 1 over 10 okay now let's do the right side 0 0.04 square root has been calculated which is 0 0.2 so basically we can do 0 0.2 cube correct here we have already done the first part so we have 0 0.1 cube and in this case cube root of 1000 is 1 over 10 we need to square it so now it becomes simpler perfect I like you to answer and then check. So when you do 2Q, critical thing here is how many zeros? Three decimal places. That means 0 0.008. Three decimal places. That is very important to understand. 0.1Q is, see 0.1 square is 0 0.01, right? So 0.1Q will be 0 0.001 here it is very clear 1 over 10 square will be 1 over 100 is that clear so actually I like you to pause the video understand this logic and then move forward it's a very critical part of our video now let's move forward now I've taken decimal numbers as exponents so now we are working with decimal exponents You may convert them to fractions. So the first one, for example, 16. Now, 0.25. It's kind of quarter, right? So we could write this as to the power of 1 over 4. Does it make sense? 3 fourths is 0 0.75. I could write this as 81 to the power of 3 over 4. And 0 0.5 is half, correct? Half. That is how you could write. So, fourth root of 16, square root is 4, fourth root is 2, right? Now, 81. We have to find the fourth root and then cube it. So, let's do like this. First, we will do the fourth root of 81. I mean, first we will do fourth root of 81 and then we are going to cube it. 9 times 9 and 3 times 3. So it gets to 3. So we get 3 cube and 3 cube is 27. Right? Here we have to just do square root. Which is 1 over how much? 200 or 20? Just the number 20. Correct? So that is how you should be doing it. So I hope it is absolutely clear. I would like you to now do 1 over 1000 to the power of 2 over 3 and write number in decimals. Okay. Let's move on. We are almost at the end now. Now in this case, I have made combination of what we have done so far. But in this case, we are using integers, right? So the negative things, we are using integers which are also rational numbers, right? Well, they are also rational numbers. Let me write rational numbers. As exponents. But the important thing to understand is that if I have b to the power of minus n, it should be written as 1 over b to the power of n. So, so we get kind of reciprocal of that number right so 16 to the power of minus 3 over 2 will basically be 1 over 16 to the power of 3 over 2 similarly 81 to the power of minus 0 0.71 will be 1 over 81 and I could write that as fractions right so I'm taking away minus 0 0.71 is 3 over 4 minus half will flip this so we get 400 this time to the power of half 
Now this is important to understand, the very first step. So negative exponents flip, write it as a reciprocal. Now let's continue. First we'll do the square root operation, right? So square root of 16 is 4, so we'll write 1 over 4 cube. And cube of 4 is 4 times 4, 16 times 4, 64. So we get 1 over 64 as a result. In this case, fourth root of 81 is 3. So we get 1 over 3 cube. And cube of 3 is 27. So we get 1 over 27 as our result. Square root of 400 is 20. So that is how we could actually do it. So I hope that helps you to understand how to work with rational exponents in general. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. We'll take up another video in which we'll consider laws of exponents. Thanks for watching and all the best.